good day to you all and welcome back to my channel today my name is Chekube Madichie um, I want to wish you all a very happy new year and I pray that um, 2021 will be better than 2020 now today I'm bringing to you all a, a rather unique and interesting and an interesting uh, type of regression analysis uh, the one we call a uh, interaction or interactive regression model uh, please before I continue I want to say that if today is your first time of seeing my video or visiting this channel kindly subscribe by clicking on the red subscription uh, subscribe button and of course you can turn on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video you get to see it first okay now uh, for the returning uh, viewers I welcome you all uh, like I said when we say interaction or interactive regression model uh, we simply try to see a situation whereby the effect of one variable on another variable depends on a third variable okay and this goes to show that um, a third variable or the third variable influences the relationship between uh, an independent variable and a dependent variable okay a good example of uh, interaction is simply moderation okay moderation so i believe that most of us are, are familiar with moderation effect when we say moderation so moderation is simply an interaction effect okay so moderation as we all know distinguishes the law of uh, two variables involved in an interaction or interactive regression model okay so it distinguishes their role which one is the moderator variable and which one is the main variable now an interaction effect is the simultaneous uh, effect of two or more variables so it is independent variables on at least one dependent variable okay and um, in other words moderation implies that the relationship between two variables depends on a third variable which is called moderator or moderator variable so if i may take you to a typical uh, uh, specification of interaction or interactive regression model uh, this here is the baseline regression model where uh, y is a dependent variable and uh, z and uh, x and z are the independent variable now if the role of uh, z in this regression is a moderator if z is seen as a moderator variable it then means that uh, we have to specify an interaction or interactive regression model where we observe the product of uh, z and x and here z is seen as the moderator variable now remember the major variable of interest here is uh, i mean the coefficient of interest is beta 3 which is the interactive coefficient okay now what this thing means is that if we estimate this model we critically observe the value of uh, beta 3 and its significance okay to know if uh, the moderator variable actually plays a role in moderating the relationship between x and uh, y now let us go to uh, our e-view and take a practical example now one of the uh, commonly used moderator variable in most economic research is institutional quality institutional quality now many people have studied the role of uh, institutional environment or quality in the relationship between two other variables a dependent and an independent variable okay now people believe that uh, the institution the quality of institution actually determines how well a variable performs in terms of contributing to uh, another variable so a very good example is uh, in looking at the relationship between economic growth measured by uh, GDP on environmental quality which is measured by CO2 emission 
Now, this is a typical of a kind of testing the EKC hypothesis, environmental coolness hypothesis, where the hypothesis states that the GDP or economic growth tends to do what? To reduce the quality of environment by increasing the uh, emission of CO2. But when the economic growth reaches certain threshold, that it, it, it rather improves, begins to improve the quality of the environment by now reducing the emission of CO2. Now, we, we are going to test this uh, hypothesis. And remember that in the uh, uh, EKC hypothesis, we have the GDP and of course the square of GDP as the another uh, independent variable which is expected in this uh, very analysis to be negative okay now let us generate such variable uh, we say that um, gdp square of gdp we want to write it this way so that uh, uh, it will be better for us to be able to write it down okay so square of gdp is gdp times gdp so it goes into the work file Another variable to uh, generate is a uh, uh, interaction variable. Okay, interaction variable. We say institution uh, interacting with GDP. We say it is going to be institution times GDP. So the interaction variable is captured by the product of the two variables, the moderator variable and the main variable. Now the first model we are going to estimate is CO2 as a dependent variable, GDP, the one that is expected to have positive impact, the one that is expected to have negative impact, and institution. Okay? We open them as equation. Please, I'm very fast because I am using a limited version of a, 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 a recorder, screen recorder, which only allows me to record 10 minutes. So if you look at this result, you see that the hypothesis is verified. Uh, everything goes well here. GDP has positive impact, which means that the growth of the economy increases the emission of CO2. Square of GDP has negative impact, which means that after certain threshold, uh, it begins to reduce the emission of CO2. So we have to save. It becomes equation 1. Now, we do, a, do that again by now, uh, including... The interaction variable we are not going to include the uh, uh, institution because of the problem of multicollinearity uh, here we click ok so we see something similar to uh, what we had before in fact everything looks the same uh, uh, the interaction variable shows negative sign which means that uh, on a priori it actually reduces the emission of co2 from coming from economic growth so uh, but then because it is not significant it simply means that the institution of uh, environmental quality or sustainability does not actually uh, play its role of uh, moderating the effect of uh, uh, GDP on CO2 okay that is what this translate to we are going to make a critical comparison actually so if we bring these two together, you can see the two together, you can see them together, you see that they look almost like the same, okay? Here we do not include environmental quality, I mean uh, institutional quality because if we include it, the link between that, this and this is going to cause multicollinearity leading to non-significance of almost every of the uh, independent variables so if you look at other test statistics they are almost the same which means that this institutional environment or quality does not actually play its role but if things go well the negative impact the negative sign here simply means that it's the interaction reduces the will reduce uh, co2 emission but has not it does not have significant impact that's what it means now in terms of a uh, policy uh, analysis here policy analysis if we go by the 
this uh, regression it simply means that um, uh, when GDP is growing which means when the economy is growing uh, we may not be able to uh, stop uh, GDP from increasing the emission of CO2 okay increasing the emission of CO2 until GDP reaches certain threshold which is measured by GDP square square of GDP before further increase in economic growth uh, begins to reduce uh, CO2 emission so in the short term uh, uh, it simply means that uh, uh, we, 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 we now want a situation whereby something has to be done to even as economy the economy grows GDP grows uh, we can actually uh, do something to moderate the emission of CO2 even as the economy grows without having to wait till uh, the economy reaches certain growth threshold and that is why we now have interaction here the interaction between institution and GDP is showing us that something can actually be done but the insignificance of this simply means that the institution available is not actually playing its role towards moderating this effect so but if things are okay assuming this result is significant it simply means that the institution can actually uh, get strengthened to uh, enforce certain environmental laws and regulations that will help moderate the, uh, in, uh, the, the increase in emission of CO2 as a result of the growth of GDP in the economy. So this is actually the bulk of uh, this analysis and I hope that um, this uh, helps someone or guides someone or provide a useful insight to somebody who is aiming to uh, look at how some third party or third variables uh, interact or moderate the relationship between a dependent and an independent variable okay uh, one can say uh, 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 the role of uh, institutional environment or institutional quality in the nexus between economic growth and envi environment or co2 as the case may be so this is actually what we have for uh, today i want to thank you very much for uh, your time uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course turn on the notification bell comment and like our videos okay to encourage us please share to your friends and uh, colleagues thank you very much and once again happy new year